she told me, I'm not joking, she told me that that was for us to figure out on our own. She'd rather me contribute to the spread of STDs through unsafe sex than just tell me. Or maybe she didn't even know. And why should she? I don't feel shame too often, but on that day, I felt ashamed. I knew that if I ever needed guidance or health advice from my school, it wouldn't offer me what I need. And if only I wasn't so gay as to be a problem at all. If our schools are telling queer youth that their sexual health is not an appropriate subject for a sex ed course, then you as educators, as parents, as caretakers, and as peers of queer students must foster an environment of support and honesty wherever you are. You don't have to be a government official and make a difference in the lives of queer youth. This year I founded uh, Marion High School's GSA in hopes that not only would it provide a safe space of open discussion of anti-LGBT harassment at my school, but also start a conversation about the reality of queer existence in the South. The road was super bumpy, and it brought me to some unexpected places, but it also brought some amazing allies into my life. I can only recommend you do the same in your spaces. Open up the floor for discussion about health in a judgment-free zone. It took opening up to older allies for me to learn that it was totally okay to have the questions I did, and that there are definitely ways I could protect myself and my partner. Make sure the youth in your life know the same, that there will always be a place for them, whether they're 17 and wondering how the heck a condom works, or 15 and realizing that their partner may have transmitted HIV to them, not going to return, or even just 13 and wondering why boys are so much less ewy all of a sudden. These are conversations that are vital to provide care for youth, especially the queer youth who are failed again and again by the public education system. So reach out. Now is the time to act. Put up a rainbow sticker in your office. Participate in the day of silence. Wear a button for ally. Make yourself a visible <coughs> ally. Or for the youth in your life, you might as well not be an ally at all. Another easy change that will allow HIV positive youth to express their status with confidence is a simple but important one. Prove clean from your HIV AIDS vocabulary. When a person has been tested for HIV and test negative, they will often say with pride that they are clean. Where does this leave HIV positive people? When you test negative for HIV, you are not any more clean than someone who can be tested positive. You are HIV negative. People who have HIV need to know they are not dirty. They are not defined by their status. If we want to reach youth affected by HIV, we must combat the shame of being different long before the diagnosis, and maybe there will never be a diagnosis. The fight starts in our schools, in our classrooms. It starts with ending name calling and slurs and letting people like me know as early as possible that having questions about our health is natural and asking them is not a cause for shame. It is an act of courage. If you are in a position to do more for the youth in your life, do it. Be the safe space that you needed when you were young. Be the safe space that I still need. Be the safe space the leaders of tomorrow will need. Thank you.